So I'd like to walk you through the analysis of the scene itself and, uh, and talk about the breakdown of the scene and then how to approach the scene is the door, right? It says over here, uh, the rest of the class is now happening and all eyes are on Knox. Now, if Knox had no fear, if he had no embarrassment, if he was supremely confident and knew that the girl's gonna fall in his arms, he would just walk right in and would have no problem, would he? But that's not the point of the film. And that's not what the point of the scenes previous or the scene afterwards. The point of the film is despite the fact that you're embarrassed, despite the fact that you have fear, despite the fact that you are insecure, despite the fact that you're afraid to step out, do it anyway, because life is short and carpe diem, seize the day. So act two is, if Chet sees, he'll kill you. Now watch. Knox, you're crazy. There's act 2A. Act 2B. I acted like a jerk. I know it. Please. She almost takes the flowers. Act 2C. No, and stop bugging me. She brought a poem and flowers. I'm so embarrassed. So then she goes, you know what? You have to leave now. Stop bugging me. And she leaves for the classroom. Ready? She's in the positive, check her out. Also watch her relationship to the locker, which is lovely. But she's in the positive, she's hanging with her friends, she's courting her friends, and then, oh my God, she sees the guy. She's now in the negative. Whereas he's in the negative, I can't find her, to there she is, positive. So now he's in the positive and she's in the negative. Now watch her relationship to the locker. Look, she's hanging on to the locker for dear life. It's so great. And this is act one. There's the end of act one. I brought you these and a poem I wrote for you. And he's come in, he's won the scene. Now it's act two. What's her objective? Her objective is to not be embarrassed and save herself from embarrassment. So what does she do? She drags him into a kind of a cove, like a little, a little uh, corner so that she can hide from all the other students so she won't be embarrassed, hide from him. So she's in the positive. She just won the second act. But when you win something, you lose something. She's winning the scene. She's not embarrassed. What is she losing? She's losing this love from this boy who's got poetry and flowers and romance and making her feel special. And that hurts. So watch her counterpoint. I don't know if the director directed her to do this or if um, the actress just did it spontaneously or, but watch. This is her point. I'm walking away. That's her point. This is her counterpoint. Ready? So she looks back, she loves him. Perfect. Act one at the locker, act two at the alcove, act three in the classroom. Uh, coverage for um, act one, steady cam all through act two, follow him in. And when we follow him in, we're following in kind of like almost a POV, which means we're in his place and we've got to summon our courage in order to go. So somewhat you're going, don't go in there. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing and you go in anyway. And then you have the response that he has, which is, you know, with the toast and the things and his friends, and he's, he's triumphant. 